Nani Palkhewala, in my book, is, I think, perhaps the greatest advocate that I have known. Uh, when, and when I say advocate, I mean the true art of advocacy. He could make the most complicated, abstruse question of law appear to be totally simple to the most obtuse judge and to his opponents and to oneself. Uh, and this, this was his great ability to make things so simple and so uh, self-evident. And uh, he had a, a manner of advocacy which wanted a judge to decide in his favor. For example, Mr. Palkiwala, Nani Palkiwala, one day called me and asked me on the telephone, uh, is it true that your consultants are on a salary? I said, yes, sir. Is it true that you're also on a salary? I said, yes, sir. I'm also drawing a salary for the organization. And he said, this is something very dear to my heart, and I really like the concept of your functioning. And I'd like to give you a donation. And I want you to come and collect the donation from Bombay at your earliest convenience. And when I met him in Bombay, in Bombay House, he said, donations are given when a person is alive, not after his death. Beautiful. He gave me all his stocks, whatever he had in the stock market, all those stocks he gave it in the first year. In the second year, he gave me all his uh, savings in the bank, that was the second year. And donations which came from him, a very large amount of money, entire property he bequeathed to Shankarni Australia for a person living in Bombay, a person to whom millions in the country are known to him, millions of people appeal to him, <laughs> had chosen Australia for one interest, one concept, that we all work for the organization, for a salary, not keeping in mind making profits, huge profits out of it. I've never seen a human being that tall. Forget the lawyer in him. I mean, as a lawyer, he was amazing. I've done so many cases with him. I've done tax cases with him. And the way he read a section, you went to him with a question, he read the section and you said, I don't need your answer, you've already answered it. So that, that was his capacity of analysis and his expression was marvelous. His skills, forensic skills were amazing. His advocacy skills were amazing. I mean, I noticed, I was young then, I noticed one thing very interesting, when he was arguing Minerva Mills, he put a proposition of law, and he'd get resistance from the judges. So he sort of get into his rhetoric and whip up the emotional side, he'd bring up and, you know, the Gokhale's even famous speech about the court being a let and a hindrance. And he'd get everybody's adrenaline flowing and he'd put the same point of law and bang on, <laughs> he'd went in. So I said, wow, yeah, this is an amazing skill. Oh, Palkiwala used to be one man doing the budget analysis. Now there are so many agencies doing it. Uh, the way I would respond is, you know, so many of us are not able to equal the weight of his observations and uh, the command he had over the policy makers in getting some of the bad policies changed. So certainly uh, it clearly shows the, uh, the preponderance of his views uh, and how it helped in shaping the policy.